Let's get the tag our clothes off and pretend to have sex. This is really fun. Um, <laughs> So what is your fantasy? Um. It's about a young man who is a sex worker, Leo Grand, and a woman in her early 60s, Nancy Stokes, who's a retired school teacher. And it's about intimacy and this kind of intersectional relationship that changes them. To have sex tonight um, with you. Emma, do you see it as a brave role because of the nudity and because of the subject matter? The reason people say it's brave is because it's not normalised. So that's all. Um, the fact is we don't see normal bodies on the screen ever. It requires bravery because um, you know, I live with a body that I don't like and I don't know any woman who lives with a body that she likes. And so my question, I think, for everybody these days is why are we wasting our time, our passion, our energy and uh, our money on hating ourselves and not um, enjoying the, the vehicles that we have to live in. So I've made a list of things that I'd like to get through. Oh, that sounds sexy. <laughs> Don't mock me, I'm a teacher. Old habits die hard. What's first on the list? <clears throat> Number one. We're very much used to seeing a diminished image of sex work. And what makes me so proud of this film is that you really see a capacity in a way that I haven't seen before. You know, I have a real respect for Leo and for the sex workers that I was fortunate enough to speak to in preparation, you know, to play him. So uh, I think, you know, Katie's done an amazing job of bringing that, that spotlight of what sex work can do. <laughs> This is it. I see my friends shriveling up over the years. Sorry. Nancy, everyone needs something different. I don't judge my clients. Do you think that this film would have been financed before Me Too? I think it would have landed very, very differently before Me Too. Um, and I'm very grateful to that movement for all sorts of reasons, obviously. But I think that's a very good question. Um, and I think that the movement has changed attitudes and I think that the Therefore, the conversation surrounding it, I notice in the press, the conversation's been a very high quality, intelligent and balanced. But there is a very serious conversation to be had about pleasure because we have a big problem with sex. We have a big, big problem with sexual violence. Now, if sexual mm. pleasure were more understood, better understood, I think we would see an enormous drop in that violence. <laughs> Some sort of sex saint. When we actually came to it mm. at the end, it was sort of like Christmas, wasn't yeah. it? Apart from anything else, there was nothing to say. We didn't have to say anything. Yeah, no more we'd, lines. We'd no, no more, more eight lines. pages of like, dialogue. Like, Twelve pages of dialogue a day for 19 days. We just go, oh, great, just, this is so fun. Get the tag our clothes off and pretend to have sex. This is really fun. Um, <laughs>